out of YouTube. Today, we're doing something a little bit different for a video. Uh, we're going to be showing, I'm going to be showing you how to do some things, some simple things on Excel. Uh, a lot of people in the automotive world, I think, tend to shy away from technology a little bit. Uh, and just the world in general, you know? Uh, I think the tech technology is, well, it's obviously here to stay, but I think it's a pretty important thing and it's useful. Uh, this is for younger people and older people, you know. Uh, older people don't necessarily like to l want to learn or don't know how to do some stuff. And the younger people, uh, you know, I know a number of younger people who do not own a printer. Which, I don't know, blows my mind, but well, that's for another video. But today I'm going to show you how to make a simple parts list, slash, it's like for for tracking prices and budgeting, and uh, you can even, I'll show you how to track some progress and status of different things. I'm, I'm a planner myself, I like to plan things out, and uh, yeah, so this is just a simple way of how I do this sometimes. So, open up your Excel, you're going to have a blank work worksheet okay I've already started this so we're just gonna work through it so that's what your blank worksheets gonna look like your uh, so and what you can do is you can think about what headings you might want for your worksheet so I've got part so it's like a description of your part brand part number price quantity total store and notes so once you have that heading up there okay I like to highlight it all. You can make it bold up at the top of your home tab there. Make it bold, center them up, and I like to add a bottom border. So that gives you that black line right there across the bottom of the cells. So if you see how there's a bunch of room here on either side for the quantity and part number doesn't fit in the box. So if you go up to the top, right on the line between the cells and double click it'll shrink those down to uh, automatically adjust the width of the cells so <clears throat> that's how you do that as you type stuff in you can go back readjust it it'll make it all nice and even so I'll show you that here as you can see I've typed started typing some items in that I want to keep track of for pricing just I'm making like a price sheet right now we'll go across the top adjust all of our cells we should be good yeah we're good okay so <clears throat> right now it's just basic I've got my head my header up top like I showed you how to set up down here, I have total under the price category because I want to have the total quantity of parts I need and the total cost. Okay, so now we're going to add, well, first off, we need to uh, format these. Okay, general format will work for you know, the wording. So this is a part number, okay? If it starts with a letter, it's considered a not part. It's considered a general wording, and it is sucked to the left of the cell. If it's just a number, it's sucked to the right of the cell. So I want to format this all as text. So that'll pull that uh, over to the left. So how you select a whole cell or a whole row, I mean a whole column or a whole row, is go up to the top or to the side, and when it has that arrow, you can click it, and it'll highlight from 1 to infinity on the D column. Okay? So obviously, price right here, that's a number. That's currency. So currency, price, it'll put a dollar sign in. And you can go in and adjust how many decimals you want. 
and uh, you can also adjust. So if I wanted to add a decimal for some reason, I'll take away, move the decimal over, move the decimal over some more that way. Okay. You can also, for budgeting, go into adjust how you want that to be, but we're staying simple for now. So that'll, that'll be a currency. Quantity's a number. It'll automatically put it as a number, but we'll put it as a number. We will just want a simple number. There you go. Total. That's going to be your price. Again, so I want to set that to currency. It'll put a dollar sign in when you start typing numbers. Now, the beauty of Excel is it does a lot of math. It does way more than I know how to do, honestly. <clears throat> but just to keep it simple, you can add formulas right here. So, for the total price, you want your price times how many times, how many of those items you need. So I need one fuel pump. All you, all you have to do is hit the equal sign. And that'll start for your formula. So, parenthesis, then you want D2, which is that cell, D2. It'll highlight it. Times, which is the asterisk, uh, E2. Close your parentheses. Hit enter. That'll multiply those two together and give you your total. So if you need two of them, type in two, automatically changes. We only need one. Well, all that means is the cell is not big enough for the number. So I just need one fuel pump. Readjust that. So, uh, excuse me. Uh, the beauty, again, is you don't have to do that for every cell. Once you do the one, you can click the little square in the corner and drag it down. All right. That does that. Now, for your total down here, you want to be able to see how many total parts you need and how much the total is for the cost. Hit that cell you want it in, go up, hit auto sum, it'll automatically highlight, you can adjust it, you can do whatever, just hit auto sum, it'll fill it in, enter, do the same here, auto sum, enter, that simple, okay, so, <clears throat> as you keep typing, you're going to run out of room, all you got to do is highlight a cell, or highlight a uh, row, hit control, and you can hit plus. That'll add cells, or uh, you have too many, or you type something in here, like uh, you don't, you want to get rid of it, like tires, okay? Let's just go through. One, two, three, four, five. Let's say they're... 185 a tire. You need five of them with a spare. Okay. Again. Drag and drop. There you go. Say you don't need that. You don't want that there anymore. Control minus deletes the whole thing. Say you hit uh, too many pluses and you're done with your list. I like two between the bot two empty rows between the bottom of my list and the total. So all you gotta do control minus you know and that'll delete your rows. So that that's how I like to uh keep track of parts pricing. Uh I've also gotten into more complicated ones where I'm trying to find the cheapest part. 
well, the the part I want, but at the cheapest place. So, I'll have the part, the brand, the part number, and then I'll have multiple sections of store price, store price, store price. So, but instead of store, it would say like Summit Racing, AutoZone, Napa, Rock Auto, uh, Amazon, so on and so forth. And uh, you can find your cheapest price for the part. Because uh, I like to save money where I can. But, uh, <clears throat> so there's that. You can go down here and you can add tabs to your workbook. So this is the blazer parts, okay? This is the parts I need for it to be up to par, running correctly, blah, blah, blah. Accessories. This is going to be accessories, obviously. And then Overland Skid, that's something else that's not important. But you can add tabs. You can also uh, do this for multiple vehicles. You have Blazer, Bronco, K30, all at the bottom like that. Just different ways you can do things. And I have my maintenance sheet set up like that, which will be another video whenever I get around to filming that one. But, uh, so that's pretty simple, you know, just where you were getting apart from here, no notes, like there's a $75 core charge for the steering box. Pretty simple. Uh, you can get into more complicated things, like with trip prep here. I have what I was expecting to pay and what I actually paid, just a list of stuff. And, uh, you can have a status. And you can also fill in the cells right here with uh, whatever color you want. So I use green and red. But uh, I have in progress, blank, have, meaning I have, but it's not done yet or whatever. And uh, whenever it's done, I fill the cell green so it's quick and easy to... Uh, identify that it is done. But uh, so that's just a quick little how to set up a simple parts list slash budget uh tracker thing for your project vehicles. Uh, I have ones that are much more in depth and you know. It's more complicated, and there's a lot more stuff to them. Oh, the list is long, like in the hundreds. That's for some bigger projects I have going on. And, uh, yeah, so it's it's very helpful to keep, so you can keep track of where you're getting your stuff, how much you're going to need, blah, 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 and so on. It also is uh, sickening sometimes when you look at the total, and it's through the roof, but that's, uh, we have an expensive hobby, so, it's okay, it's fun. Well, that's all, just wanted to show you guys a quick how to do a little parts tracker budget for your project vehicles on XL. Uh, there's a lot of things I've picked, I've, I've been doing myself for years on Excel and Word, and, uh, I've learned some things from a couple people at work through the years of just, you know, saving stuff. And I'm work I've learned more about PDFs and stuff like that. So we'll get into that stuff in time. I'll make videos on that stuff. But uh, we'll start simple with this. So thanks for watching. Hope this helps you guys. Uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe for more. Leave a comment if there's anything you want to see done on with technology and whatnot but uh yeah so you can follow me on social media it's k30 crazy on both facebook and instagram as well and until next time stay crazy people